Hello! Thank you for tuning in to this week's reads. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. Uh, the YouTube channel is James 13 Wicca, in case you're seeing this somewhere else. For the main part of the read, I'm using the, YouTube, the, the uh, tarot deck, Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti, text by Barbara Moore. On the bottom here, assuming I get this right, um, it's Llewellyn.com is where this one came from anyway, and there's a couple other socials if you're interested. Supportive Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gre Gretchen Reich Baskin. Baskin? Yeah. Watkins Publishing is the website, watkinspublishing.com, I believe. And I think there's a, a website for Tori Hartman, too, in that black little strip above the barcode. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. The, um... The dice are from the dice shop. The website is magic or uh, mathartfun.com if you want to check them out. I use a 22-sided dice for the major arcana, 22 substitutes for zero for the fool, 14-sided um, side, 14-sided dice for the minor arcana, and a three set four-sided dice for the element to match for the uh, minor arcana. That being said. If you take a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, james for astral at gmail.com. This is James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. And let's go ahead and get into your reading. Hello, Pisces. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Pisces? Oh, from it's like nothing was happening at all, and all of a sudden something jumps out of the woodwork. I don't think that's bad. I think it's going to be positive. Let's go a little farther. I think it's really good, but it, 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 it is a bit jarring. It's jarring. The truth is coming forward, and I have to deal with the truth. I'm getting that, too. Okay, so... Oh, I wasn't even this far when this showed up. The death card showing up in the environment. So this is happening around you. Something is changing in five seconds. Um, I feel like it's been there. Has it? Let's just go, let's do the dice on this. So we got, the world has been waiting. The world and the de death card, you don't have the devil card out, don't worry. <laughs> the world and the death have some common energies. They're different. They're total, They're definitely different. But there's some commonalities. When I see both of those energies come, in, come up, they're like, well, something is flat out ending and life will not be the same afterwards. Um, so... Like, the death card by itself might be like, you know, we're changing the house, we're going to change, we're going to do some renovations, it'll be different, but it's still the same location. When both of these come in, it's like, oh, we're not even going to be in the same county. We're moving, like, not only out of this house, but out of the county. It's a big change. Big change coming in. Um, Ten of Swords, half in, half out, which tells me it's not all bad, but it definitely has some bad qualities. So it's not all bad, but there's going to be some pieces here that's like, I don't like this at all. Um, it's happening around you. Um, when it comes in, it's coming out of nowhere, it feels to me. I mean, I'd probably say this, in, if you've seen other readings by me for Pisces, I'm a Pisces. I usually say it at some point. Um, I don't feel like I, I feel like I didn't see it coming. I keep seeing like, I feel like after it happens, I can look back and go, oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of should have saw it coming. But I keep feeling like when it happens, I'm like, I didn't see this coming. Does that make sense? Like I can see like, oh, if I look back, I, I can see the signs where this was going to happen. But when it actually happens, I'm just like, I feel completely blindsided. Um, I feel like you're making it through it. Ultimately, it's not bad. I think it's all about how you feel about it in the moment. It's a general read. 
it comes in, I feel like I'm trying to be optimistic about it. I'm trying to accept it. I feel like I'm looking at this like I don't have any control over it. It's just happening. And the information comes in really strong. If there's a role you have to play in it, I feel like you just do what you have to do. This is what I have to do today. This is what I have to do today. I feel like I'm handling it as I need to handle it. Um, I feel like Pisces, and I'm saying this as one, when things do get really overwhelming, I do feel like we can numb out to it. I'm not saying that's going to be the same for every Pisces, but I feel like that is a Pisces trait that most of us have. When it gets really overwhelming, I feel like we numb out numb out to it and we just get through it. Um, we just do what we got to do. Doesn't mean we're not going to pay the balance later, but in certain s instances, we can just numb out. Um, and sometimes that throws other people off because they're wondering, like, do you have a heart? Like, yes, I'm just, it's just overwhelmed right now, so it's off. <laughs> not that it's off, but you know what I mean. It's offline, maybe. And I'm out. Um, take it with a grain of salt. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that's how I understand it. That's how I understand it. Um, I feel like I'm trying to center on what I need to get done. I'm trying very much to center on what I need to get done. The Five of Cups. I'm believing in things that I have to believe in to get through the moment. Things are very unstable and I don't like it, is what I'm getting. This isn't going to stay, this isn't going to be like this for the whole thing. Um, but again, if you're numbing out, I don't. it doesn't feel this heavy, it just feels like I have to do what I have to do and I'm centering on it. I might be hyper-focusing on what I need to get done. I'm, and I'm believing in what I, I'm, I'm trying to believe in people that maybe I normally wouldn't. I'm trying to give things a, a fair chance that maybe I normally wouldn't. I'm just trying to make this as cooperative as I can. I'm trying to get through it. And there's a lot of, like, this Wheel of Fortune energy over here. But I'm like, all right, you know, I don't think this is a good thing. But, you know, this is what we got to do to get through it. Let's just keep going one after the next. And the energy kicks up quite fast and keeps moving. Um, Ace of Wands comes in. Your energy has the uh, temperance card, which can be a, like, I'm not overthinking it. I'm just, this is in front of me. I'm going to handle it. That's in front of me. I'm going to handle it. This needs to be done. I'm just going to do it. Every time something shows up in front of me, I feel like I'm trying to just take care of it. And I'm just, as, as soon as it shows up, I'm trying to take care of it. And I feel like I don't know what's going to happen next. And I need to get it out of my way because I don't want to get buried by this thing. Um, I feel like that's a natural reaction to it. I feel like I keep moving because I feel like I have to. Um, so it's almost like something needs to be picked up from the store. I just go and get it. And they're like, well, you had three weeks to do it. Yeah, I just, I got it off the way. I didn't want, I knew me. I know me. I just, I know what needs to be done. I just, I can go do it right now. I'm just going to go do it. Um, this, this legal thing needs to be taken care of. What needs to be taken care of? Oh, they got You got to order this document. Okay, go right online. I ordered it. It's going to, when it gets here, I'll take it where it needs to go. I, I'm handling it. It's, Right away, right away, right away. Um, your energy is kind of upbeat at this center, at this point. So it doesn't sound fun, but I feel like you're up as upbeat as you can be, and I feel like you're trying to keep yourself upbeat, and you're trying to be upbeat for other people. It, it is what it is for the moment. It's not. It's kind of like we're just gonna hand to handle it, and I just kind of have to keep going. Like the the energy or whatever it is, I can't get out of handling it. When I get the hanged man with this. I don't feel like nothing's happening, especially because you got a lot of fire going on here. I feel like there's actually a lot happening. I feel like it's the, the energy of the mood, like how it feels is what it's going to be like. It's kind of like it's going to be what it's going to be. So I just keep moving to help it move forward as fast as it can. It's going to feel the way it's going to feel. The mood isn't going away. Does that make sense? It's kind of like, you know, if it's raining outside, but I got to do a lot of work, then I'm doing all the work I got to do. Even though it's raining, if there's stuff I have to do outside, then it has to be done outside. And the mood is not going away. It's still raining. But, like, I got to get out there and do it. So I'm just going to get out there and do it. I'm going to get wet. Then I'm going to get wet. That's just how it is. Um, that's what I mean by the mood isn't changing. And it's kind of like, all right, well, let's get done. It then shifts over to the next level. All right. So you don't have responsibility with certain things. Knight of Swords and the Chariot. Something goes into this next level. Something, there's a, there's a next level of this situation. Um, 
it's heavy. It's not, but it is. How to explain this? This next level, it comes in very fast. You're not responsible for this, but you can be helpful. Okay. Don't don't do this. Whatever comes in next, I feel like a lot of people are upset, and you you have this need to just kind of take care of them or something like that. I feel like your knee-jerk reaction is to put your feelings last and other people's first. They're saying, that's not a good idea. Don't put your feelings last. This is weird how this... The King of Cups usually has more control over that, but I feel like I'm more concerned about other people than myself. And I gotta be careful not to let that run the show. The advice here... For you to be the most helpful, because I feel like I'm concerned for other people and I'm putting my feelings last, other people's first, and I keep getting that with this. Like, I feel like that's my responsibility, kind of like, I can deal with my emotions later, I can do this other stuff later, I'll just make sure they're okay for now. And I feel like that's what this is feeling like, which usually this card is better balanced, but it's not feeling that way. Um, that's the advice to not do anyway. The advice to handle this, because there's a there's an upkick and like something else happens after this, this can be a great moment of healing for you. The advice is to connect to your healing. And if other people are respectful and compatible with it, respectful is a big thing though, respectful to it, allow them to join you on your journey of healing as long as they're respectful to your journey. And you can help them while you help yourself. This is a positive thing. So like I get like 50 people, so if there's 50 people in a room and everybody's upset, look out for your feelings first, get your energy under control first. It kind of reminds me of like when you're on a plane and they're like, you know, secure your mask before you secure anybody else's because you can't help somebody else if you pass out. You know what I mean? That's kind of how this feels. Secure yourself first, secure your energy first. Now, what you're doing to keep your energy calm if other people want to do this, or actually if I use the, like there's 50 people here, and we're all doing the plane thing, right? You've secured your mask, and now you're helping other people, and then, then like, okay, I've secured my mask, and then you're like, okay, now that you, now that we've secured our own, you help them, I'm helping these, you help those, because you help your own. Like, encourage other people to help others, but like, if, if they're compatible with what you're doing, if they're not going to get in the way of what you're doing, you know, encourage them to join you in what you're doing. Like you're, you've secured, and you say, hey, secure yours first like I did, and then help those around you like like I am. If you want to be compatible, we want to be compatible. Um, so, you know what I mean? Because I'm getting another analogy if we're using the same plane thing where somebody's like, they got their mask secured, but then they're starting to freak out and complain and like scream and like, all right, let other people deal with that doesn't have to be your jam. You don't have to worry about that. Let other people handle that. Somebody's freaking out. Okay, you got a lot of other... Like, help keep doing with the, the mask securing. Make sure you keep yours secure. Help other people get theirs secure who are compatible with that. But if somebody's freaking out and screaming because they have to have a mask and they're having an issue, let other people deal with that. Let other people deal with that. That doesn't have to be your ball of wax. Let the healing happen. Promote the healing. As long as people are compatible with your healing... Allow them to be a part of your journey. That's fine. The situation is going to end faster than you believe is what I'm getting. It's like it comes in really fast and then it just, it's it's done. Um, three of, pay, uh, no, it's three is the swords energy. The 11 is the um, page energy. And then the lover's card half in, half out. So, when this ends, it's going to end the way it's going to end. It's going to shake out the way it's going to shake out, and you're going to be fine. But once it's done, there's advice. Because it seems to end fairly quickly. Um, there's, there's some negative energy here. There's, there's halfway energy here, too. And there's some good energy. So it's like, I feel like we have all three. We have the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Don't, you're not going to, like, you're going to see people for who they really are. This moment is going to show you who some people really are. 
you've, you're going to see through the facade of who they want to be, who they want other people to believe they are, who they maybe want you to believe they are. You're going to very easily see who see people for who they are. And you're going to have this moment where you can highlight that. If you needed to highlight that or not, that's up to you. I feel like that's very subjective to whatever's going on for you. But the point is, you can't go forward from this moment without that information. Like, you can't go on the, from this moment and pretend like it isn't what it is. Um, this is They're saying, do not move on from this moment and, and just believe it was just, well, they were stressed, so that's why they were that way. They showed you who they really are. Honor that moment. Doesn't mean you have to be negative against anybody over it. Just see them for who they are and handle it accordingly. Do not move past this moment without realizing people are showing you who they really are and how they really stack up with the situation. So maybe they're not good with stressful situations. That's one thing. But during a stressful situation, if they're very nasty to other people and they take advantage of other people, they're showing you who they really are. That's the point. Some people, when things get really stressful, they just go numb and they can't handle it. That's fine too. You're seeing that for what it is. Other people look out for when people get really stressed. Some people I know get really stressed and then they become this strong energy where they help others. I don't have that energy. <laughs> I'm not good. I just kind of like, I just kind of like melt. I'm not good with stressful situations, but I don't treat other people badly. It's the thing. It's seeing people for who they are. When things get really overwhelmed, some people just can't handle it. Other people get really nasty. Some people get really good and they help everybody. See people for who they are. And realize this before you move on from this moment. That's the point. See the truth of it. I feel like it's more like seeing people like when they're when they're doing bad, they make it worse for other people. I feel like that's something you really that's like the highlight of it. Kind of like, you know, it was bad, but then they made it worse and then they took it out on everybody around them. See that these somebody's showing you who they really are. See that for what it is. That's all. Doesn't mean you have to like go crazy with it, but like accept it. I feel like they're saying it's your opportunity to accept it. Because other people are going to be talking about it. Especially the people who might have been abused by somebody. Like, everybody was in this bad moment, and this one person who abused other people around them because they couldn't had it, have it, they couldn't handle it. Victims of that per people of those people will say something and will be very vocal about it. You know, be aware of it. Be connected with it. And I don't, we're not going to treat it like it was just like, well, that's the best they could do. No. If they treated them bad, we now need to see people for who they are. Other people will be talking about it. And they're just saying, honor it for the truth that it gives you. That's all. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the, in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.